Water scarcity, loss in distribution systems, and inefficient water usage pose significant risks to communities and industries worldwide. FluxGen is at the forefront of this battle using Internet of Things technologies and AI to improve critical water management. Ganesh, can you outline the components of the FluxGen solution that you would see in a normal or typical deployment? FluxGen utilizes sensors, IoT, computer vision, Gen AI to provide prescriptive alerts to take corrective action for our customers to reduce their water consumption by up to 30% and eventually become water positive. When I talk about sensors, we utilize this water flow meter, water level sensor, water quality sensors, and energy meters as well. We use computer vision to understand the water treatment happening in this wastewater treatment plant. We also use uh, satellite imagery to understand the water utilized and consumption outside the facility to understand the water risks. The deployment is typically inside a customer site, uh, an industrial site. And so when you go into that type of environment, what is the cost and time it takes to deploy in a, in a site? Our solution is plug and play. Basically, we have sensors that actually can be directly mounted on the flow meter even without cutting. Of course, there are some places where you have to cut the pipe. So it takes about uh, a week to actually deploy about uh, 20, 30 sensors. What's an example of a customer that you've seen really great results with? I would like to quote uh, Tata Steel. Uh, I remember, you know, their uh, mines uh, in India, we've been able to put up our system and almost reduction of water consumption in the plant by 26%. That is one of uh, a good uh, achievement by this customer, which was also helping them become water positive. What does water positive mean? So if you ask me, where do we get water? We generally get water from utilities, right? Now imagine if you are able to use rainwater harvesting most efficiently, you're able to augment the fresh water needs by optimally treating your wastewater and able to utilize that and use as little water as possible by doing water efficiency, identifying leakage, wastage, ex uh, excessive usage. Your dependent on grid becomes almost zero. At that point, when the dependency of water, when it becomes zero, you're actually water neutral. Any more water that you can harvest and treat, then you're actually water positive. So this is an example in a, in a large industrial setting, but water utilities themselves in any jurisdiction also struggle with aging equipment, aging infrastructure, all sorts of problems in distribution and leaks and water quality. So where can FluxGen step in to help improve the water utility output? While today we are primary focus has been large corporates who, who guzzles a lot of water, but what we have realized is the technology that we have developed to identify inefficiencies in the water network in this industry can now be put at a macro level in utilities. So we've been able to uh, do a smart city project in North India where we've been able to deploy these sensors on the entire water network. And we've been able to reduce the non-revenue water in that uh, uh, city by almost 5%. And we are looking at how we can increase it to almost 25% over a period of time. So non-revenue water, meaning water that's not being, not generating any revenue for the utility. Yeah, like if you consider if the water is getting leaked, the water is, there's a wastage or a pipe burst, that water is not built basically. And- uh, It's been treated yeah. with significant costs, energy usage, treatment facility costs, but then not making it to the end point. It was a significant problem in Mexico City uh, in Cape Town, South Africa, where the so-called day zeros are approaching us and we have actually passed day zero in Cape Town, for example. How can FluxGen help stem this risk globally? We work on the downstream side of things, where in which individual consumers, if individual consumers are able to reduce their overall water consumption, say by 30%, that's the amount of water you're not withdrawing from the water utility. We would like to help all those places where there's water crisis to increase their water efficiency at the individual level, right? And then, of course, we would like to go to the city, municipality, and see how we can put up sensors in their water network. So it's always important to find what is the small enough to do, big enough to matter. That way we would always find out where there is a significant opportunity to find out inefficiency, NRW, and help them.